My name is Ramanand Lakshmi Narayan. I'm Senior Research Scholar at Princeton University and Director for the Center for Disease Dynamics, Economics and Policy in Washington, D.C. and New Delhi. The Indian government uh, launched a program to strengthen routine immunization in 2014, which is, uh, which is a landmark effort because until then, immunization coverage had been fairly static for a long period of time. And since then, quite a few things have happened. One is the introduction of uh, four new vaccines uh, against uh, uh, the pentavalent vaccine, uh, which had already been introduced prior to then, but after that there was a pneumococcal vaccine that was introduced, rotavirus, uh, and uh, the inactivated poliovirus vaccine, IPV, and the fourth was uh, the measles rubella vaccine. And these were all introduced towards sort of the beginning of, uh, of the, this current government, the previous uh, iteration of it. And subsequently, a program called Mission Indra Dhanush was launched which was to increase immunization coverage across India, going in stages, 200 districts at a time. And all of these have had the effect of increasing immunization coverage in this country uh, by about eight to 10 percentage points, which is actually remarkable if you think about the number of children involved. Immunization is probably the most basic thing that the government owes its citizens, because starting from the time of birth, uh, the immunization uh, program essentially protects children from early death, you know, before the age of five. Uh, this, along with adequate nutrition, are the main things that both prevent early child death, but also help later on in life. Some of the research that we've done shows that immunization is responsible for increased schooling, increased cognition later on in life, and increased wages later on in life. Now, most other countries have achieved 90 plus percentage of full immunization coverage. India has always lagged behind and now it's really time to catch up. Immunization is fundamentally a health inequity problem because the people who are not covered by routine immunization right now are essentially people who are poor, people living in geographically remote areas where the program does not reach them. So if we were to increase immunization coverage, we would automatically be reach. We would automatically be reaching people who were uh, underprivileged and live in remote areas. But let me also remind you that uh, not all of the folks who are uh, unimmunized live in uh, remote areas. Many of them live right under our nose, uh, you know, in slums, in urban areas. In fact, one of the interesting things in India is that rural immunization rates have converged now with urban immunization rates. So a lot of the unimmunized are essentially poor people that you find around flyovers, you know, people who you encounter in the streets, in the metros. These are the bulk of our unimmunized children as well at this point. Now, the pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, uh, as you all know, is probably one of the most cost-effective vaccines uh, available to us because uh, there are probably still around 180,000 deaths every year attributable to this uh, to pneumococcal pneumonia. And India has the highest burden of pneumococcal pneumonia in the world. And we believe that probably half of these could be addressed through a pneumococcal vaccine. So there's a large number of deaths to be averted by increasing the coverage. But on top of that, pneumococcal pneumonia is also responsible for a lot of unnecessary antibiotic use, which then leads to drug resistance. Now, India introduced a pneumococcal conjugate vaccine in the routine immunization program, what we call the universal immunization program, or UIP, only a couple of years ago. Uh, this was funded by Gavi, the Gavi Alliance, which uh, initially subsidized us to do it. But even today, uh, because of a variety of reasons, including vaccine shortages, uh, the immunization coverage with PCV remains really low, it's under 5%. Uh, now, this has to be fixed right away because every day that we're not immunizing children against PCV, we're unnecessarily putting their lives at risk, we're putting them at risk for hospitalization, and of course, we're uh, you know, causing them to have a higher chance of dying. So to me, this is an urgent priority. We are left with two years of eligibility for Gavi funding. Uh, but India could easily afford the pneumococcal vaccine. So the increased cost to us of the pneumococcal vaccine uh, is just about 2,000 crores. Now, if you consider the fact that our routine immunization program costs about 9,000 crores, and this is an expensive vaccine, you know, the immediate hit is not that much. And you also have to remember that over time, we will have an Indian-made version of this vaccine, which will also drive down the cost dramatically, both for India as well as for the world. Uh, but as a matter of urgency, the pneumococcal vaccine is the most important thing we should be focusing on right now. 
Uh, the Indian vaccines have not entered the market yet, so it will take another, at least another two years, maybe three years to enter the market. India has, uh, especially under the current government, placed a lot of emphasis on immunization. So immunization, I would go as far as saying is, is uh, you know, one of the primary sort of objectives of the government, uh, even prior to when Ayushman Bharat and Swachh Bharat came about. That said, we still have a long way to go. I don't think we can rest until we have full immunization coverage up at 90%, which was the stated goal for the end of 2018, and we didn't achieve that goal. So we have to achieve that goal. We have to put a lot more money towards immunization. Currently, we spend uh, just about $4 per fully immunized child. This is actually one of the lowest levels in the world, even compared to our neighbors. Uh, you know, most of the neighbors spend anywhere from, you know, 5 to $12. Now, admittedly, the cost of our program is a little lower because we're able to negotiate better prices for our vaccines. But we are not spending enough on the system that delivers the vaccines. We're not incentivizing people uh, who are providing these vaccines. And at the end of the day, I don't think the mothers and the mother-in-laws in this country really understand how important immunization is. And that's where we need to change the minds of people. And we have... Uh, we have to really focus on this.